You're watching the News Edge Early Edition. Now at six, an update on the disappearance of 11 year old Audrey Cunningham. What we've learned about the person of interest who is now in custody as the search continues. And, and her husband wanted to come on my property. Is that okay if I go outside with my gun? Several 911 calls made by the Lakewood Church shooter before that attack shows her in a, dis in a dispute with her neighbors. And we are talking Astros today as spring training continues in Florida as fans wonder if the team will extend Alex Bregman's contract. The News Edge Early Edition at 6 starts right now. Good evening and thank you so much for joining me. I'm Anthony Antoine. Topping the rundown at this hour on day four of the search for 11-year-old Audrey Cunningham of Livingston. Authority, authorities release new details. Right now, 42-year-old Don Stephen McDougal is in custody and is a person of interest. Fox 26's Jade Flurry is live for us in Livingston. So, Jade, has McDougal been cooperating? That's the big question here this hour. Uh, the Polk County Sheriff says that McDougal hasn't been fully cooperating with their investigation. They say that he has led officials to a few areas of interest, but he hasn't confessed to any crimes related to Audrey's disappearance. I'm hoping and praying that she's still alive. More information about the main person of interest in Audrey Cunningham's disappearance is coming to light. The Polk County Sheriff's Office confirming that 42-year-old Don Stephen McDougal did leave the house with Audrey the morning she went missing. He was, uh, was probably taking her to the dropping off at the bus stop, and we do feel at this point that he was the last person who's seen uh, Audrey. Officials say McDougal was living in a camper behind the home of Audrey and her family. Over the weekend, evidence believed to be Audrey's was found at the Lake Livingston Dam near the Trinity River. We feel strongly today that that backpack that was found is a high probability that it's going to be Audrey's. Even with more details emerging, officials say McDougal hasn't confessed and they aren't ready to charge him with Audrey's disappearance. Yes, he may have been the last person with her, and yes, she is missing at this time, but we want to make for sure that whatever evidence that we collect and that we, we place on an affidavit today is going to be something that's going to hold up in the court later. The Department of Public Safety is now asking for the public's help finding more video footage on FM 3126 on Thursday the 15th when she went missing. I am not giving up hope that we'd be able to bring Audrey home. Polk County Crime Stoppers have increased the reward for any information on Audrey's disappearance from $7,000 to $10,000. Reporting from Livingston, Jade Flurry, Fox 26 News. Two people have been questioned in the investigation of a fatal shooting on the city's west side. Saturday afternoon, officers responded to an apartment complex on Willcrest near Briar Forest. The male victim was found unresponsive in the driver's seat of the vehicle and pronounced dead at the scene. Anyone with information is encouraged to go ahead and contact Crime Stoppers at number 713-222-TIPS.